Randy Rhodes, Reflections of a Guitar Icon, a new documentary about legendary guitarist Randy Rhodes, best known for his work with Ozzy Osbourne, will be available on video on demand on Friday, May 6. The 85-minute film was directed by Andre Rellis and was narrated by LA Guns guitarist Tracy Guns. It was written and edited by Michael Brunning. Randy Rhodes, Reflections of a Guitar Icon, includes interviews with Randy's mother Dolores Rhodes, brother Kel Rhodes, Eddie Van Halen, Van Halen, Rudy Sarzo, Quiet Riot, Frankie Benali, Quiet Riot, Joel Hoextra, Whitesnake, Bruce Kulick, Kiss, Doug Aldrich, Whitesnake, Dio, Gary Moore, Dweezil Zappa, George Lynch, Dokken and Ozzy Osbourne. A new clip from the film has been released which contains archive audio of Rhodes discussing the making of Osbourne's debut solo album, Blizzard of Oz. Rhodes and two others were killed on March 19, 1982 when the small plane they were flying in at Flying Baron Estates in Leesburg, Florida struck Osbourne's tour bus, then crashed into a mansion. Rhodes was 25 years old. In his biography, The Nine Lives of Ozzy Osbourne, special, Ozzy stated about first meeting Rhodes after his departure from Black Sabbath, I knew instinctively that he was something extra special. He was like a gift from God, we worked so well together. Randy and I were like a team. One thing that he gave to me was hope, he gave me a reason for carrying on, Ozzy added. He had patience with me, which was great. He was great to work with. He pulled the best out of me. We had a lot of fun. Rhodes's death had a tremendous impact on Osborne's life. I lost a dear friend in my life, I miss him terribly, Ozzy said. I just bathed my wounds with alcohol and drugs. The day that Randy Rhodes died was the day a part of me died, he added. Last October, Randy was posthumously inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame during the 2021 ceremony. Rhodes received the Musical Excellence Award at last year's event, which was held on October 30 at Cleveland, Ohio's Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. The Musical Excellence Award is given to artists, musicians, songwriters and producers whose originality and influence creating music have had a dramatic impact on music. Rhodes was inducted into the Rock Hall by Morello who stated in a video message. Randy Rhodes is a peerless talent. He revived Ozzy Osbourne's career as his gunslinger sideman. And it was Randy Rhodes's poster that I had on my wall. You could study Randy songs in a university-level musicology class and bang your heads to them in a 7-Eleven parking lot. Also offering a video tribute was Metallica's Kirk Hammett, who stated about Randy's death, all of a sudden, the curtain came down unexpectedly and the show was over before it really, really got going. Wilde spoke highly about his predecessor, saying, Randy, hands down, sits at the round table of greatness in the Hall of Fame alongside Jimi Hendrix, Jimmy Page, Jeff Beck, Eric Clapton and Eddie Van Halen. Rhodes played on Osborne's seminal records, Blizzard of Oz, 1980 and, Diary of a Madman, influenced many musicians and is considered one of the greatest guitarists of all time. His death was a huge shock to the world and Ozzy wrote in his autobiography, I Am Ozzy, that he almost quit music after Randy's passing. Shortly after Rhodes's induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was announced, Ozzy told Rolling Stone, I knew him for a very short amount of time. But what he gave me in that short amount of time was immeasurable in effing greatness. To get somebody like Randy Rhodes to play on two albums, and for those two albums to sound as good as the day they were recorded, is something else. And I'm forever in gratitude for that. God only knows where that man would be today. The very fact that he's not here to breathe the air is just a effing crime. Thank God that he's getting recognized by the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He finally got there in the end. I'm sad that his mother was not alive to see it, because he was very close to his mom. It shows that he's not been forgotten. He was a dedicated, true musician, and he was a lovely guy. I still think about him all the time. Rellis spent his late teens and his twenties in the California music scene. Andre was heavily inspired by metal bands such as Quiet Riot and Ozzy Osbourne. Randy always stuck out to Andre as one of the greats and inspired him to become the frontman of a touring punk band, Rubberneck. After years of touring, Andre transitioned into television and film production in the early 2000s. From that point on, Andre has been at the forefront of feature film and distribution for the last 20 years and in 2010 he founded VMI Worldwide, a Hollywood-based finance, production and distribution company which he runs today. Most recently, some of the more notable films Rellis produced include, The Last Son, with Sam Worthington and Machine Gun Kelly, Wander, starring Tommy Lee Jones and Aaron Eckhart, Arkansas, starring Vince Vaughn and Liam Hemsworth, and, Grand Isle, starring Nicolas Cage and Kelsey Grammer. And on the directing side, Rellis co-directed the 2016 feature documentary, NWA and, Easy E, Kings of Compton, which was released by E1 Entertainment in North America.